The first thing I do at a waterfall is figure out the correct shutter speed based on the speed of the water. I don't like water that's smoothed out too much. I prefer to show movement and texture of the flow. My thinking was to use this splashing to create foreground interest that shows just how much the water is being thrown about. It's visually interesting and balances with the rock, but now I look at it, it doesn't quite work because of the dappled light in front of the rock. It takes the eye to the edge of the frame when the idea is to take the eye into the frame and down the river. By cropping that out, the image has been simplified, but does it make it a better image now? Let me know what you think in the comments. For this shot, I positioned the camera low between two foreground rocks to frame the composition and I rather like the fern that adds the same colour that we see elsewhere in the frame. Although I find the end result a little on the busy side again, there are possibly too many small rocks in the foreground. What do you think? I shot this at traditional chest height on the tripod. It's a little boring, so we'll just move on upstream. The main waterfall is lovely to look at, but makes an incredibly uninteresting chaotic photo, particularly in this midday light. At the top of the waterfall, there's not much going on either, and I may have overcooked this one in processing. My first set of proper landscape photos in almost two years, and I was only there for about 20 minutes. A little bit rushed, because I kind of want to get north. I'm still about an hour away from my destination where I'm spending the night and I need to do some scouting up there to figure out where I'm going to shoot this evening because I didn't research this. This is a bit of a, a spontaneous adventure. The light, the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds. Lovely, lovely blue sky, fluffy clouds. The day, the kind of day that you don't want to be doing landscape photography, although I disagree with that. In situations like this where you're under the, the cover of a forest, and you've got dappled light coming through, doesn't matter what time of the day, you can get good shots. The sun is out, then it's in, then it's out, and that's actually a good thing because there were areas of this, this, this composition that I had chosen where when the sun was out, it was blowing out highlights on light-colored rocks. And then likewise, when the sun was in, there were areas in, in shadow that were just a little bit too dark and needed a little bit of light in there, some dappled light to, to make it interesting and make things like the ferns pop. So I'm going to blend a couple of frames together and I should have the perfect balance of, of light and dark. And uh, I'll probably do that tonight in my hotel room. 